When a child disappears, it understandably leaves their family distressed and in a state of emotional turmoil, not knowing where they are, what the circumstances surrounding their disappearance are, and not knowing whether they are safe and unharmed. One such family who continue to face this heartache are the Pepion family, who reside on the Blackfeet Reservation in Browning, Montana. The daughter of Arin and Arbana, Arden Pepion, was described by her loved ones as an outgoing little girl who was smart and loved to laugh. She spent a lot of time listening to music and enjoyed partaking in various TikTok videos with her younger sister. By all accounts, Arden, who was affectionately known as Ardy, was a happy little girl who was full of life. On April 22nd, 2021, three-year-old Arden Pepian disappeared from the Blackfeet Reservation at approximately 7pm. According to witness testimonies, she was last seen in the surrounding areas of Joe Show East Road, near the Two Medicine River off US Highway 89 South, in the company of her non-custodial uncle, who was babysitting her that evening. Her uncle, Hahax VA, was partaking in target practice at the time, shooting his gun down by the river when he noticed that Arden had disappeared. VA was reloading his gun at the time. Whilst searching the vicinity for his niece alongside his girlfriend, her uncle saw small footprints leading towards the Two Medicine River, approximately 40 to 50 yards down the embankment. VA and his girlfriend, Kimberly Higgins, spent several hours, reportedly between five and six hours, searching the area for Arden, but couldn't find her, and subsequently reported her as a missing person to Blackfeet law enforcement. A search was conducted in and around the river, but after 10 days, law enforcement ended the search, as no further clues or evidence was found to indicate what fate befell Arden. Despite the official search ending, the residents of the Blackfeet Reservation took matters into their own hands and continued to search for the missing girl. They set up a GoFundMe page to help fund their search efforts, which are still ongoing to this day. According to the Montana Right Now website, Blackfeet law enforcement arrested two individuals after it was reported that an incident involving an assault and intimidation with a firearm during the search for Arden occurred in the two medicine area. No further information regarding this incident is available, other than the fact this occurred on June 5th, two months after Pepion disappeared. It's not clear whether this incident was related to the case or whether it was an unrelated occurrence. Officer Frank Goings of Blackfeet Law Enforcement Services confirmed to the public that Arden was not believed to have been abducted, as law enforcement discovered footprints that matched hers, along with a boot that was presumed to be hers in the river, which was found on April 25th. An extensive search was conducted using sniffer dogs and cadaver dogs, horses and drones to scour the area. However, the search was later scaled back due to safety concerns related to the ever-changing weather and river conditions, as well as resource constraints. This is just one example of many cases where Indigenous people have been left without the resources or support they need to find loved ones who have gone missing. The Blackfeet community expressed frustration over the lack of an amber alert issued by law enforcement when Arden Pepion disappeared. However, Officer Frank Goings explained that law enforcement had determined her case did not meet the quote-unquote specific criteria for an amber alert. Criteria include having reasonable suspicion that a child was abducted or disappeared under suspicious circumstances, if they are younger than 17 years of age or have proven mental or physical disabilities, or if the child was in imminent danger of serious injury or death. 
Instead, the Montana Department of Justice issued a Missing and Endangered Person Advisory, an MEPA, for Arden. Members of the community were disappointed that law enforcement didn't do more to help and felt that the MEPA was not sufficient enough in getting word out about Pepion's disappearance. As far as anyone being held responsible for Arden's disappearance, according to the Great Falls Tribune, the uncle last seen with the three-year-old that night when she disappeared was sentenced to nine months of house arrest in October of 2021 for negligent endangerment, and his girlfriend was also charged with accountability in regards to Arden's disappearance for not supervising her. VA pleaded guilty and admitted to having not exercised the appropriate amount of care in the presence of his niece, but the charge of child neglect was dismissed. He was released on bond and was also charged with a $1,000 fine. Blackfeet Law Enforcement Services handed Arden's case to the Bureau of Indian Affairs Missing and Murdered Unit in July of 2022, according to the Missoulian. There have been no further updates in the case from law enforcement since, though a scarce number of newspapers have covered the disappearance in order to keep Arden's case alive. Unfortunately, Arden's disappearance wasn't the only tragedy to strike the young Pepion family. Very sadly, the Arden Pepion Holding Hope SAR Facebook group posted an announcement in October of 2022, which stated that Arden's mother, Arbana Pepion, who was more commonly known as Bana, had passed away at home with her husband, Aaron, by her side. Quote, She had so much faith that one day we would find Arden. Her body was just getting tired. She made us laugh, she made us cry, and she even made us mad, but she always came back ready to take on the world. Aaron, Arbana, and the Holding Hope search crew have been through so much together over the past few years. A big space is left in our hearts. Please keep Arbana, Aaron, and the girls in your prayers. Arden's father, Aaron Pepion, continues to hold on to the hope that his daughter will be found and that one day they will be reunited. Due to the circumstances involved, many believe that following the recovery of Arden's boot from the Two Medicine River and her coat, according to some sources, though this seems unverified, She most likely fell in and drowned, but others cast doubt and suspicion towards her uncle, who was in possession of a live firearms in the time in which Pepion went missing. Others raised questions regarding the five to six hour time frame in which Arden's uncle and his girlfriend were allegedly searching for the toddler before calling the authorities. When a child is left alone for any length of time, they are exposed to danger, so it is vital to act as soon as possible in the interest of that child's safety. Many question simply why they waited so long, but it is not unusual for Indigenous people in particular to have a lack of faith in the police and are therefore hesitant to contact them. For example, 20-year-old Ashley Loring Heavy Runner disappeared from the same reservation in 2017, and she has never been found. The search was called off due to lack of resources and funding. Five days after Arden vanished, a 26-year-old man named Leo Wagner also disappeared from the Blackfeet Reservation, and he too has not been found. Wagner was last seen by family and friends near the St. Mary and Bab areas just east of Glacier National Park. Leo's case, like Arden's, was passed onto the Bureau of Indian Affairs for further evaluation, but since then, radio silence, which has resulted in their families taking matters into their own hands. Law enforcement did not find any evidence to indicate any criminality took place in this case and believed that Arden's disappearance was primarily down to the fact that Arden's uncle had been negligent in his duty of care, which had resulted in her disappearance. 
Whether a tragic accident occurred or something more sinister remains unclear and mostly speculative. Whatever the circumstances surrounding Arden's disappearance, a body has never been found and her family continue to await answers. When she disappeared in April of 2021, Arden Marie Pepion was three years old. She is described as being Native American, specifically being a member of the Blackfeet tribe of the Blackfeet Indian Reservation in Montana, standing at three feet tall and weighing approximately 31 pounds. She has brown hair and brown eyes, both of her ears are pierced, and she sometimes goes by the nickname of Arde. On the day she disappeared, Arden was reportedly last seen wearing a grey hooded pullover sweatshirt with the word Glacier on the front in red ink, according to the Charlie Project, but various other reports state that the three-year-old was wearing a purple jacket with a unicorn design on the front, a grey sweater, black leggings and boots with a green trim on the day in question. It's unclear which is factually correct, though it is important to bear both in mind. On the 5th of September 2023, which would have been Arden Pepion's sixth birthday, the National Centre for Missing and Exploited Children released a new age-progressed image of her, depicting what she may look like today, in an effort to draw more attention to Arden's case, which has been extremely underreported in the media. The National Centre for Missing and Exploited Children said in a short statement released on social media, On this special day, we want to remind everyone that Arden is not forgotten. We remain committed to finding the answers the family and Blackfeet Reservation community have been longing for.